Hi, and welcome to uh, another video in the series Productive Emacs. We're focusing on being productive while editing closure code using the CIDR uh, library. Uh, today, we're going to look at evaluating code. Uh, we already have a REPL, we know how to do code completion. So uh, what, how can we harness the power of that active connection? So uh, evaluating code is quite simple. There is not a lot to it, um, but it is very nice to know. So when we write our code, uh, we might want to make something active in our current session. So if we go into this uh, REPL here and we do add one and three, we would get four, exactly what we expect. But suppose that we live in this very weird alternate reality. And uh, when we want to add something, we always count one into it. Not really uh, what you would expect, but uh, we can evaluate this code by pressing Ctrl X E and it will tell you that this um, uh, function has been evaluated. And if we go back to our REPL and we uh, re-evaluate this function, it will tell us two because we added, we substituted the variable B with the value of one. So now we have this really nice uh, function. Let's change it back. Uh, there's a different way to evaluate it by running Ctrl C meta X. So that's one more way of doing it. The, the difference between the two, if I would evaluate the plus with Ctrl X E, uh, it will evaluate that single uh, expression. If I stand exactly at the same spot and do Control Alt Command, Control Meta X, it will evaluate the top level expression. So wherever you are, wherever you're making your changes, you can evaluate the entire uh, Devon uh, by just re, uh, pressing Control Alt, um, Control Meta X. Beautiful, of course makes life very easy. Whenever you evaluate the code, especially the top level expressions, it becomes active in your current running application. There's also the possibility to evaluate, let's add one and two, uh, evaluate the expression that you're on uh, to uh, the REPL. Uh, we covered this also in the REPL session, uh, so I will not go into too much detail about it. Uh, you can evaluate the uh, expression or the, uh, the, the resulting value of the expression to the REPL. Uh, be sure to check out the other video on this subject. Um, there's also something very nice and that is called value inspection. When you evaluate a piece of closure code uh, and it has, uh, the uh, has as a result a very large data structure, it, it's very illegible uh, within Emacs. But uh, let's undo this. Let's suppose that this value would be very big. You could press Ctrl C meta I and it will tell you that a, in a window, inspect window, a, a, a good destruction of this uh, result value. If it would be a hash map or a vector or anything, it will put it in a fashion that it is very legible uh, for you. So just press Ctrl C meta I and you will get all this information. In this case, it's a long, it has value tree, but it tells you for long, uh, that these are the min max values, that the size is 64, it has eight bytes, so it's 64 bits. Uh, and in this case, the serial version UID. It works on every object, every type of construction that you can think of. Let's clean the REPL. Um, there's also something very nice, which uh, CIDR took from the light table. Uh, in case you don't know, the light table was this 
or is this very nice editor for closure and close script like code um, which has a lot of modern insights into how you would develop a language like this and it's called cider enlighten enlighten mode um, when we just run some code nothing happens but when we evaluate some code from that point from where we added the enlighten mode if we now do the add it will say uh, when we look here mouse work mouse stops working and um, in the add function the a was called and with the value of one the b was called with a value of two and uh, the result would be three so the add uh, in this case was three if we do that on a more complex statement the subtract and an add itself uh, you will see that um, the add resulted in four by having the one and three values and the subtract uh, result in two, four and two. Um, so it, it, it allows for a lot of insights when it comes to um, debugging some code, if you would like to. Uh, let's disable it. Uh, Reevaluate. Yes, Reevaluate. We're back to the normal level. Um, then there's... Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to the video right here. I think it's somewhere around there. Um, it will keep you up to date with all the live sessions. It will keep you up to date with other videos that I post. If you have never looked at my website, I'm Highly recommended, of course. Uh, I write about all the things that I do on YouTube and beyond. It's called www.buildfunthings.com. Of course, the entire channel is called Build Fun Things, so luckily it's the same thing. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.